Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at the Blade Blocker, which is an ASEAN TV product. It's kind of an updated version of the ID Police, which I reviewed a few years ago. I was not a fan of this one, but hopefully this one can work a little bit better. Now this video I started about six weeks ago and it didn't really go so well. But I'm back trying to finish the video today and see if the blade blocker actually works. All right, so rather than trying to explain everything, let me go back to the beginning and show you what happened and hopefully we can pick up where we left off. All right, so you might recall the original ID police. Uh, here it is. It's just a security stamp that rolls over your sensitive information so you don't have to worry about throwing it away and having someone steal your info. The problem with this was that on certain types of paper, after the ink dried, you could still see the information below. And so on other types of paper, you could just wipe it off even after the ink dried. I'm hoping that the blade blocker has improved on that. We shall see. But the blade blocker also has a couple new features as well. One of them being a refill cartridge. This is because the original ID police, people complained that it wasn't refillable. This one is, so it's already an update. Plus we've got this knife here, which can supposedly open letters and packages. So let's crack it open and see how it looks. All right, here it is. I paid 20 bucks for this direct from the Bulbhead website. The claim to this is a two-in-one ID guard stamp roller and letterbox opener. They say it has a sharp retractable knife which can cut through envelopes, packing tape, wrapping, and more. The pattern roller down here covers sensitive information, it includes two ink refills. All right, taking a look at the two of these, here's the blade blocker, here's the original ID police. They're pretty similar, not exactly the same. This one's got a blade on it, let's check it out. Doesn't seem very sharp. All right, it's funny on Amazon, I, I found a listing for this. I didn't see really any pros that were reported from users. Perhaps not surprisingly, I found a listing on Bullpen and they were all positive. But the cons, as with the original ID police, some people were saying that when the ink dries, you can still see through it. So, so I've got two things to test in this one, not just the ink roller, but also the knife itself. So let's, uh, let's get started rolling and see how it works. Let's take a quick look back at the original ID police now. Now all you had to do for this one was to open it up and roll it across the item you wanted to block out. And it has, of course, their logo all over it, right? It worked well on some types of paper. Other paper, it bled through. It, you could see it through it the next day. Some of you could wipe off. So it wasn't perfect. Some people like it. I, I'm not a big fan of it, though. Now let's try the blade blocker and see if it's any better. All right, it looks pretty similar. It's a little bit uneven. It looks like it's getting, it's fading already. It's already acting like it's dried out. I just opened it up. Let me get another piece of paper here. Oh, it's very uneven. It's like more uneven than the original. Okay, this is the new one. This is my two-year-old ID police. It looks better. The two-year-old ID police on the bottom here looks more even than the brand new one I just opened up. Now they do have refills, but I didn't think I have to have to refill it right away. Look at this. It's, it's, it's starting. It looks like it's already, it's already dried out. It's already low on ink and I just bought it. Well, I guess on the, on the good side is I can actually see how the refill works. All right, so here is one of the refills. So I'm supposed to cut this tip off with some scissors and stick it in that hole right in there. I don't even know if this is working or not. I'll get it on my fingers here. Oh, come on. I haven't even used it yet and it's already getting covered in ink. It's just, it's, a, it's already a mess. I haven't used it yet. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't, expect I wasn't expecting that. Wow, okay, this is a, just a big mess. So yeah, my first blade blocker was not only kind of dried up, but the refill process was a complete mess. I went on Amazon, a lot of people there said the refill was also messy for them too. So I just picked up another one in a local Asian TV store. I opened it up, I checked it out, it seems to work. So hopefully we can finish up this review and see the blade blocker actually works. So first up, let's try some different types of paper. We'll mark them up and tomorrow we'll see how they look. Because when I did the original ID police, it looked fine at first, but after a day of drying, they didn't look so good. So let's try that out with the blade blocker. I don't know if this ink's any different or not. I kind of have a feeling it's the same thing, but we're gonna try it anyways and give it a fair shot. And this is just a fake uh, billing statement that I got online as a sample. So I'm gonna mark this one up as if it was an actual bill and see how it looks. First thing I wanna do is give her the customer, customer information. And all right, see right now, it's pretty good. I'll just kind of mark up a few random things on here. All right, there we go. We'll check this tomorrow, see how it looks. I've got a Smith's receipt. Now the receipts didn't do so well last time. Let's see how this looks. All right, that looks pretty, uh, pretty well marked. Got some colored paper here and it's also a little bit glossy. One thing I'm kind of noticing is it's kind of uneven. 
I'm pressing slow and evenly and it looks okay, but it seems like it's kind of touchy. It seems like the, the blade blocker is even touchier than the ID police was. It doesn't bode well for the blade blocker. Although I will say, I just happen to like saying blade blocker. It kind of rolls off the tongue. All right, here we go. More stuff. Here's another kind of glossy piece of paper. I'm going to try to mark that up. Okay, we'll see how that looks tomorrow. And this is kind of a matte envelope with some large text on it. Let's see if I can mark that up. I'm going to make two passes here. There we go. This feels almost like a heavy, like a, a light cardboard or a real heavy paper. Let's try this. All right, well marked up. And finally, I've got an actual shipping label here. Let's see. Well, no matter what I do, I cannot seem to, to block out some of that text. I can still read it. I did a bunch of passes on that one. It's still, I can still read it. So I don't know, I'm not impressed. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to the next thing, but I'm gonna film each one of these today, and then I'm gonna film them tomorrow after they've sat for 24 hours, and we can see how much the ink's changed or how much it hasn't changed. So let's move on to the next test, and we'll look at that tomorrow. All right, so the other feature of the blade blocker, in addition to being like the ID police, is that it has a blade on it. The blade is right here. You can pull it out, and they also say there's a lever right here you need to push down to close it, although it seems like it closes with or without it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the instructions and use the lever. Now in their instructions, they kind of say how to hold it when opening up letters. What I'm gonna do is compare this to a regular letter opener, which uh, I've been using these for decades, and these have always worked well for me. Let's see how it compares. I have a company I do business with, and they refuse to go paperless no matter how many times I ask. I've got a stack of them here. I've got 10 in each stack. I'm gonna use this letter opener. I'm gonna use the blade blocker and compare. I figured just doing it one time really is, is not a good enough test. I wanna use it several times before I get the hang of it. First up, the blade blocker. Now these are all sealed envelopes. They say to use the blade in this manner, going away from yourself to kind of get it started here. Get it started here. There we, there we go. All right, smooth as silk, look at that. Look at that perfect straight line. Absolutely perfect, or not. All right, so one unimpressive open. Let me fly through these next nine. Now the first one was just a starter. The next nine should just go smooth as silk, right? Hey, that one's a little bit faster. Still not, not as straight as I'd like, but it was faster. You'd almost think this would be the, where you'd want the blade to be. You could just kind of put it in there and just go across. They're not showing it that way, but I wonder if you could do it that way. <laughs> this is not, this is not going so well. No, I, I need the blade. The other one is too dull to cut this way. I have to have the blade and the blade is just like going all over the place. It worked. It's, it's ugly, but it worked. Let's keep going. That one's pretty good. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting faster. Every single one of these cuts is jagged. Oh, that was fast. That was fast at least. Still ugly, but very fast. I, I, actually, I think I'm getting worse now. I think I've, I was getting better, now I'm getting worse again. Ugh, just tearing everything. They show it kind of at a, at a right angle, but I can't get that to work. I can't get it like that at all. Oh, this one is a complete disaster. I'm skipping that one. That's just, that's not even good. Last one here, see if we can do it. All right, that was quick and ugly. That's a pretty sad bunch of open letters. That's very sad. Sorry, blade blocker, you're out of here. Let me get the actual letter opener here and see what I can do. <laughs> wow, smooth as silk and a straight line. First time, go the other direction. I can go to, away from me or toward me. Yeah, it's, a, it's a no competition here. The blade blocker just got blade blocked. The blade blocker just got blocked by the regular letter opener that's just slaughtering it. Look how much faster this is. I can go either direction too. I can go toward me or away from you because it's, it's a safety. Every single one of these was straight as an arrow. That was an absolute slaughter. Blade blocker just got blown out of the water on that one. Let's see how the blade blocker can actually work as a blade cutting some cardboard. I'm gonna try through the tape here and through the cardboard. Just with the tape itself. I mean, it's kind of cutting through the tape. Let me try something else. Can I actually cut through cardboard? Oh, I can't. It does cut through cardboard. Let me compare it to this one here and see what we got. 
There's that one versus the blade blocker. The blade blocker didn't cut, didn't cut it all the way through. I don't know, it, it's an okay blade for that. Right now I have to admit, I'm, I'm still a bit underwhelmed. I didn't really like the ID police because I didn't think it was great at rolling over information. The blade blocker just adds a mediocre blade to that, so I'm not really that impressed either. All right, so I'm gonna come back in 24 hours. I'm gonna take a look at these papers after they were just freshly rolled and all after sitting for 24 hours and see how they look. And at that point, we'll have a pretty good idea if there's any difference between the original blade blocker and the not so impressive ID police. All right, it's been 24 hours. At first glance, they look pretty good, but let's take a closer look and see if they really held up. First up, we have this fake bill here. Now, just glancing at it, it doesn't look like it faded much. I'm gonna pull out my 1980 coin loop and take a closer look, held up to the light. 12-1-2017 to 131-2018. I can still read it. How about the, uh, the envelope here? This one, at first glance, doesn't look like it faded much. Um, I can kind of read this blue text here. Let me see. The most accurate, dependable, and efficient. I can, re I can read it. It looks good from far away, but when you hold a loop up to it, you can read it. How about the orange glossy paper? Oh, I can definitely read that. Spices and real pumpkin seeds to create the seasonal. I can definitely read that one. Let me see this, uh, this other glossy one here. This one, at first glance, also doesn't look like it's too bad but I can totally read it. Hawaiian dance class, I can definitely read this one. The Smith's Receipt, let's see how that one looks. This doesn't look like it faded, let me see. You know what? I can't read it. I cannot read this, so this one actually looks pretty good. The Blue Cardstock, let's take a look at this one. At first glance, this one also doesn't look too bad, and honestly, I can't really read this one either. All right, so we got four of them I could read, two of them I couldn't, and let's not forget about this one, which was so bad, I didn't even really worry about that the next day. It was readable from moment number one. So five I can read, two I can't. That's not only really a great track record now, but that's not the only thing we're gonna try. Let me try the, uh, the old uh, wet paper towel test and see if I can wipe off some of these. All right, on the matte paper, I would say I didn't really get much, much improvement. Smith's receipt. Well, I mean, good news and bad news. It works so well that there's nothing left on there. You can't, can't see anything. Even the original link came off, so that didn't really work. How about this glossy paper here? Oh yeah, this one came right off. I can read everything. Okay, that didn't work. Orange glossy paper now. Oh wow, look <laughs> Whoa, it came right off. Envelope. Uh, not much improvement. Blue cardstock. Uh, it looks like I did get some of it off there. Let me see. So what have we learned about the blade blocker in today's review? I would say that at first glance, it seems like the security feature is pretty good. In some cases, you can wipe it off. In other cases, a magnifying glass, you can still see through it. The ratio of those that worked that didn't is not very good for my tests. The blade itself is kind of mediocre, not really better than my box cutter or my letter opener. I guess it's better than the regular ID police because it does have more features. The refill method though is very ineffective and messy. So I don't think this is gonna replace my shredder, box cutter, or letter opener. But if you've used the blade blocker, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.